What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the garage. So this is my answer to uh, Gary's Diecast Collections, other brands that you collect uh, besides Hot Wheels and Matchbox. So I didn't spend a whole lot of time. I just went through my boxes of loose stuff just to get some examples that maybe y'all have never seen in some of these other brands that maybe y'all do collect or or that you haven't seen or heard of. So let's go ahead and get just real quick. Let's get the Matchbox out of the way. Uh, this by far is one of my favorite matchboxes yeah look at there there she's beauty huh for REF 40 man I love those matchbox wheels from that time man they were absolutely fantastic this is a very sweet this is a very sweet version to me I like it I had two uh, one open one in a pack and a friend of mine had really been looking hard for one and so I gave him one of the ones that had come out of the packs brand new so there's that so that's my matchbox y'all you ain't I don't know if y'all seen these or if you haven't but you're gonna see them now sweet little chopper here go ahead and extend that out put that on there so sweet little casting man I've had that one forever a sweet sweet little casting I have a thing for helicopters and planes. I don't ever show y'all that, but I do. Y'all see some of the stuff that I collect here tonight. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and move this one off to the side. Man, I am so sorry. I got this camera so close that I'm having trouble reaching around it. Uh, this is also Matchbox. Don't know if y'all ever seen these. At one time I had a whole fleet of these little planes. You know, had my own private army, so I had to have my own private jets. <laughs> Yeah, I was a weird kid. I don't know what to tell you. It's a sweet little casting, man. And I, I miss these kind of castings that they made back in the day. I don't collect any of the newer, you know. I don't collect any of that newer stuff. The, the Sky Busters, I don't. But this one I do keep, and I do love it. So, yeah, she's a beaut. She gets to stay home with me. Because I love her so much. Um, I thought I would pull out, since I said Hot Wheels. I think I only brought out one Hot Wheels and uh it's i wouldn't consider it like a hot wheels basic because this is the hot wheels uh vintage series and you can kind of see that color i still kind of like that color a lot you see a lot of my customs will come with a color shift in this color here i'll call this one my eleanor um i missed this vintage set when it came out got these at kb toys you know got the uh, red lines on there a pretty nice color man but that was the only thing I picked out for Hot Wheels I mean I know I would consider it more of a premium but hey as a Hot Wheels go this is a this is a nice one absolutely nice so I just wanted to show her off I don't think I've ever shown you all that before I'll put her right there uh, some no names uh, these two are from a company that says MC Toys and if I'm not mistaken, I used to get these at like the Bill's Dollar Store, man, like two for a buck. Great castings. I mean, I, I, I really liked them, man. When you're a broke little kid, you know, having to do chores for a buck here and there. Yeah, two for a dollar was a bargain, man. It made your money stretch. So this one's also an MC toy. Nice little Jaguar. Pretty sweet, man. Pretty, pretty sweet. And I want to say I have more of these. I, I just wasn't going to spend a whole lot of time because I want to get this video in and out so I'll be part of his challenge before he goes and throws out another one. Um, these, y'all may remember these. These were put out by Kenner, the fast ones. Um, yeah, I mean, she's pretty roach, but I remember the day I got her off the peg, man. Yeah, that was, that was you know, late 70s. I mean, license plate's missing on it, but that's okay because I mean, you can buy a license plate decals. But what's cool about these is you'd get the car and they would come with a different license plates. This particular one is Louisiana. So yeah, fast ones. Now it's fast with 111. Yeah, they're pretty sweet. So everyone look for a state, you know, whatever, Texas or wherever you were from. So these are the only two that are left from, from that era, which is pretty cool. Um, these two are made by Play Art, and I want to say these are the only two that I have from Play Art. And y'all, I want to tell you, 
That was my first custom as a kid. I had one of those robone tattoos, glued some little diamond facets, you know, from my mom's sewing box on there to make a cop car. So yeah, and then this sweet little fire truck there. I'm not even real sure what, what year these are. They don't have a year, they just say play art. This is called the Fire Tender, made in Hong Kong. It's pretty sweet because this one right here actually has uh, opening doors on there. It's a little, little Fiat X19. Pretty sweet little car, man. I remember a friend of mine gave me that when we were in school. I don't even know what grade I was in. He gave me that car, man, and I loved it. I loved it. That's pretty much the condition it was in when he gave it to me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not joking, y'all. Uh, I thought I would show you. How about how about this? How about a couple of major rests? Uh, again, this one does have opening doors. Sweet Mercedes, man. I had a thing for Mercedes when I was a kid. I just like this big, beautiful car, man. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I only picked out two major rests. Um, this one, which I've had quite a while. Um, this one, again, doesn't have a year. Oh, that's really, that's really bad. It's actually a 159 scale, what well, it says on the bottom, instead of 164, so it's slightly bigger. That's okay with me. And then this other Majorette, which, I don't know if y'all knew Majorette did this. Would you look at that right there? Man, oh man. Told you, I'm gonna, I try to show y'all some stuff y'all hadn't seen before. And uh, yeah, this was a Majorette, man. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yep, I have a thing for planes and helicopters, y'all. Y'all thought you knew me, but you don't. Park that bad boy right there in case we need her. Uh, so those are my majorettes. Um, then I got a couple of uh, Z toys, like Z E E. Um, sweet little 63 split window vet in purple. This is one of my favorite cars as a kid. I played the heck out of this one. Of course, I also grew up with the TV show Stingray. Y'all remember that? About that private investigator in Vegas? Yeah, so I, I've had a thing for 63 split windows ever since. Or pretty much all vets. But I just don't I just don't show y'all that, but I do. So I got that one from Z Toys. And I brought out this example. And y'all, I'm a child of the 80s, 70s, and 80s, man. When the space shuttle came out, I was all about that space shuttle. I actually got to see it. I was probably 18, 19 years old, selling firewood there in El Paso with a group of guys, door to door. And the space shuttle actually came in on top of this huge jumbo jet. That's how they transported it from one location to the other. And it was coming into El Paso to the base there. And I got to see that thing in the air piggybacked on top of that jumbo jet. Absolutely once in a lifetime experience, y'all. I've seen pictures before, but I've seen it in real life. And it it was a thing of beauty, man, I'm telling you. It was a thing of beauty. So those are my Z toys. Then this one has no name, but I wanna show you just because it's also a space shuttle. And this one's a much bigger scale, so I absolutely love this one. Yeah, the bay doors open on it, you know. But for a no-name brand, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And I guarantee you, this is again one of those you know dollar cars that I could afford. You know, I mean, it's the wheels are kind of jacked on it. That's why it's not sitting right. Hang on, just a sec. Let me uh, let me try to fix it. There we go. Now she'll stand up proper. Yeah, for a no-name brand, yeah. I collected it. I collected a lot of space shuttles. Collected a lot of helicopters, a lot of fighter planes, man. I was, I'm into everything. I told y'all, I got issues. I got issues, y'all. <laughs> I like everything. If someone made the time to put out a small scale model like this, I mean, it's time consuming to get the scale right, to get the details right, you know? Give us opening features like this one, you know? It takes a minute, and I appreciate that. And, and that's, that's why I, I collect a lot of different things. Um, I do have a couple of Johnny Lightnings from the Playing Mantis area or Playing Mantis days. Uh, this is part of a giveaway that Walmart had at the little concession stand. 
you bought their little cheese two cheeseburger deal with an icy and you could buy one of these Johnny Lightnings uh, from the new James from the James Bond uh, collection so got this sweet little Lotus absolutely gorgeous oh man it's missing a hubcap that's okay that's okay and then this sweet I want to say this is a, a Sunbeam y'all correct me if I'm wrong it's not an MG but the MGs look very similar but I want to say that this was a Sunbeam it's a pretty sweet little car man for 99 cents and I got cheeseburgers and an icy no brainer and I do have other ones I have the Mustang I have I have several of them I think I, I have the entire set but I'm not digging through boxes looking for the other ones because they're still in their original blue boxes these were ones that were doubles that I actually got to take out of the box so those are my Johnny Lightning playing Mantis ones um, shoot I was going to show you this one with that no name space shuttle but here's a sweet Lambo again one of those two four dollar cars no name on the bottom just says Mio made in China but uh, it's a pretty sweet cast and I think it's more true to size for the Countach you know and I know I had several of these uh, I think I even have a blue one still on card somewhere you know but yeah she's a sweet ride and I I played a lot with this one it don't look it it looks clean and brand new but yeah I did play the heck out of this one when I was a kid and then I've got a couple you know what let's go ahead and do the Ertles go ahead and do the Ertles so I do got the uh, smoke into bandit one I showed the other day when it was you know Chris is you know show me your Pontiacs or whatever uh, challenge which I would find out I love Trans Ams but this is my uh, bandit car so I thought I would show you that Earl and here's one you probably forgot all about and uh, again just trying to show you stuff that I don't think y'all seen or you haven't seen in a long time that one's pretty beat up but you know again got played with a lot yeah the bat boat man pretty sweet little ride there pretty pretty sweet so other than that oh I forgot okay so those are Ertles so let's go ahead and get the Corgis out uh, I got Corgi Juniors which is what I collected the most of this white uh, 84 Chevrolet I got it because it reminded me of uh, but face man drove on the uh, the A team, so I went. In, I picked this one up a long time ago, and it's got well used. I mean, look at the look at the windshield all scratched up. But you know, as a kid, you know how to fix it. But as an adult, you watch some YouTube videos, you can fix that glass. Look just like brand new. So that's what's going to happen down the road. Probably won't repaint it, but I probably will uh, fix it up. This one needs to be cleaned. It's pretty rough shape. But that was mine from a kid. No Superman stickers on it anymore because Porgy Jr. did put stickers that didn't put decals. Uh, water slides, rather. But uh, pretty sweet. The little arms, if you push down on the thruster, pop out. Still functions. Still functions. So we got that one. And then we got this one. This is the last of the Corgi Juniors that I'm going to show. Spider Man Copter. Pretty sweet little casting. And I want to say. They also use this one for something else. I don't remember what, but they use it for something else. I think this one does have one of the stickers still left on there, so you can kind of see it. But yeah, I want to say they changed the base on it. That one's got a broken leg. Look at that. It's got a broken leg from all the moves. and I mean, it's been a long time, y'all. Got these at like Wynn's department store. My mom would get fabric. We'd each get a car, me and my little brother. So that's it on the Corgi Jr. Um, I only have one of these that survived my childhood. Tootsie Toy. Yeah. I think this is called the Shuttle Truck. I don't know what that's all about, but pretty sweet little ride. Definitely needs a restoration. And there is a restoration for Opus. Uh, it's like build, rebuild any Tootsie or Midget Toy or any German made vehicle whether for Matchbox or you name it you know just to do a, a build in memory of Oprah who just passed away uh, I'm not gonna do this one I want to do one of the bigger Tootsie toys so I've been looking on eBay I'll find one then I have one of these this is made by Road Champs 
for Thunderbird. Yeah, she's pretty rough, but you know what? I did play with it quite a bit. I had a thing for those, those Thunderbirds of that year. I thought it was a pretty nice body style, man. I thought it was a pretty nice body style, and that may that may need a, a restoration job on that. Maybe in a nice root beer brown or something. Can interior. Uh, I think it's funny how those wheels look so much like match like uh, Hot Wheels. See that? It looks a lot, awful lot like old black walls. That's pretty sweet casting. Uh, only one of that that I have. I do have a ton of racing champions. This one just happened to be open. Um, almost all my my racing champions are NASCAR. A lot of the ones I got are Richard Petty or Richard Petty team. So, yeah, some of the other ones I don't care about. I'll strip the wheels off of them. <laughs> but all mine are like from 94, 96, 97. And it's, it's like, you're, you're stripping a car that's 25 years old just for the wheels? Yes, I am. They're my cars. I can do what I want. <laughs> And I don't follow NASCAR anymore since that whole bunch of BS. Um, I do have some Yacht Mings. And I want to say this one was on that Show Me Your Pontiac Challenge. So this, that's one of my Yacht Mings. I think it's a pretty sweet casting. I like it. Sand interior sounds correct. Um, I do have this 63 split window. Silver with the uh, you know American theme, you know, stars and stripes right down there like it I like it a lot yeah opening doors on that too you know so that's pretty sweet I mean for for a brand that you don't see anymore pretty nice and I do have a wagon I do have a wagon imagine that Charles diecast garage owning a wagon <laughs> ah, pretty sweet it's pretty sweet. What is the Country Squire? You don't even say on the bottom. It just says Yachtming number 1015. But it looks like an old Ford Country Squire. I don't know. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I only have one of these as an example. Kitco. Copyright Dyke 1979 on the bottom. Pretty sweet little casting, man. Yep. I have a thing for Corvettes. Y'all didn't know, but I do. Especially the older Corvettes collect everyone that I can find and then the last ones I want to show y'all are uh, I got four Tomikas or Tomica however you want to say it that one I know when I got that I was definitely a little kid definitely I don't know why it just appealed to me I don't know what it was but I need I had to have it in my life and my mama bought it for me she buys me lots of things <laughs> so there's my one of four Tamikas. Um, this is also a Tamika. This is the uh, Lamborghini Cheetah. Picked that up at a flea market. I want to say when my wife and I first started dating, we would go to flea markets and stuff. And I want to say that's when I picked this up. See if we see the year on the bottom. Well, copyright 1979. Tamika Lamborghini Cheetah, made in Japan. Pretty, pretty unusual ride yeah so there's that and then the last two I'm just gonna throw them on here together because they're the same model just different colors Winnebago's yeah I actually I was my uncles were looking at houses they, that's one of the things they do is look at houses to buy and you know and uh, this brown one here right here in, in, in front of you um, that was actually one that I found buried in the ground at this trailer house that they were looking to buy Just out there in the country just buried up in dirt cleaned it up It's been the same ever since I haven't done anything to it and then that green one that's coming around I want to say that I found that when I was with my wife When we were first you know dating um, at a flea market for like 25 cents like back in 1991 1990 so yeah, I've, I've had these for a while. I don't know if they've got a date on the bottom Copyright 1976, Winnebago Motorhome right there. So yeah, I've had those. I have a thing for motorhomes, y'all. I have a thing for a lot of things. I like a lot of things. I'm like right now my daughter and my dad and my mom and my nephew Caleb, they're in Las Cruces, New Mexico. They're at the RV stop and they will be going to uh, on to the Grand Canyon tomorrow. 
of course now Yellowstone is flooded and the entire park is shut down so they're gonna spend a couple of days there at the Grand Canyon and if the park's not open by the 17th they're gonna turn around and come back to Texas because uh, the lady at the RV place there at Yellowstone said we don't know anything that's going on we haven't had a whole lot of information all I can tell you is that we're not offering refunds we'll put you down in the books and you can come up next year my dad's like I'm not coming all the way back the hell up here from Texas. It's too far of a damn drive. But, uh, that's my dad. And I'm sure he said it in a lot more colorful words, you know. He's a grizzled old, you know, Vietnam vet. Loving to death, but yeah, he's unfiltered. <laughs> he should come with like a an R rating <laughs> when it comes to uh, what his thoughts are about you and what you just told him. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, uh, that was my answer to uh, Gary's uh, Diecast Collections, you know other brands that you collect um, I know it was supposed to be show one but uh, it wouldn't be very interesting so I hope I showed you all some things you hadn't seen uh, some things y'all might be looking for or some things that you have already found um, hopefully it brought back a lot of memories for some of you older guys like me anyway that's all I got y'all thanks for stopping by the garage um, as always be safe be well and be kind always be kind and until the next time you're at the garage, I'll see you later, grease monkeys. <laughs>